Hi friends, welcome to Tech Geek. So today I'll be sharing the most asked coding questions. So mostly of you have asked me which are the coding questions that are asked in the interview round, specifically in the Wipro and uh, Global Logic video. So I thought to combine the most asked questions and bring them together in the video. So this is all about it. Uh, apart from this, if you have any query, if you want to know anything about specific company, recruiting, off-campus or in ca on-campus hiring, do comment. I'll be there to solve your queries or to come up with a new video for preparations. Thank you. Okay, so coming to the very first question that is asked is, uh, you will be given a set of non-duplicating numbers and you will be given a limit n. So this is the user input that is n. You have to check which number is missing. Now let's say you are given n as 10. So you will be given an array with 1 to 10 numbers. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now out of these 10, 1 would be missing. So you have to find out which is that missing number. So this has to be done in a very efficient way. So now before beginning, let me tell you this question has been asked in various companies so be prepared it is asked in ibm too okay so i'll tell you the companies which uh, mostly go up with this this has been asked in ibm this has been asked in walkover and uh, wipro i guess wipro it was not with all but yeah one or two students got the same question a little modified one so modification can be either in the case of numbers or they can be duplicating numbers too and so on. So now coming to the set to find the missing number when there is no duplicating number. So now coming to a thing, this is a mathematical based question. If you think in a mathematical way. So how you can solve it using mathematics is we know how to find the sum of 1 to n numbers. In maths we have learned it is n, n plus 1 by 2. So now coming up to this, how we will find the missing number using sum of the numbers. So let's say from 1 to 10, we know the sum is 55, but 5 was missing. So the sum came up to be 50 now. So by subtracting the original sum to the sum we obtained, we'll get the missing number. So this is the task we have to do. Very first thing, we'll find the sum of the numbers available. We'll find the sum of n digits, n positive numbers using the formula n, n plus 1 by 2. And then we'll subtract the 2 to find the missing number. Oh, this is a really basic question, but the thing is, it should strike you that very moment. It checks how you are good at logics, how you can think about things you are learning from basics. So this n, n plus 1 by 2 is something we are learning from class 9th. So, it's all about the basics you will be tested okay so this is a very easy way now coming to the second question this is based on strings we have to check whether the strings are anagrams now coming to strings uh, we have string manipulation questions so this is one of the most asked questions in a uh, manipulation so now coming to the word anagram so what is anagram so anagram is actually a word in which we'll rearrange the letters into a different word and it will be same. So let's say, uh, I'll give you an example and tell you which are anagrams. Let's say we have a word race. Now R-A-C-E. And second word we have care. C-A-R-E. Now if we check the uh, letters of it, R is there in race and in care too, then A is there in care and this then c and e now these four are common only the rearrangement is different so such words are said to be anagrams that means the number of letters are same only they are rearranged okay so now the basic concept of this is we have to check whether the length is equal very first thing because if the length is equal then only we can go up with the next step that is that particular characters are also equal so very first thing we'll check whether the strings are of same length let's say if they are not then return no false whatever is the return type and if they are found equal that means yeah one step is done now we'll come up to the second step so what we will do now is now we'll convert the string into char array now in java you can do it to char array is there and there are various functions too 
so we'll convert into scar array and then we'll sort the arrays now why sorting because in the first one let's say care and race so in the race r was first then a then c then e and in second array it was c a r e now you cannot compare r with the third one how will you know where is uh, the first of this and the third of this and so on you cannot compare the alphabets if specifically the string is too large so an optimal way is to sort them so that all the letters will be arranged in equal way now if we arrange these so we, it will be a c e r in both the arrays so now we can compare the zeroth element of first and zeroth element of second that's equal then one then two and so on up to the length so if they are found equal that means they are anagrams and if not then they are not let's take the next question so this is you have to check whether a given string is palindrome using recursion now this is also one of the most asked questions so in palindrome we know that the word that is given or the string that is given that is right from left or right it remains the same so that is what would be applicable here just giving an example of palindrome is madam so madam word m a d a m either you read it from left or you read it from right it would be the same now now the challenge here is that we have to do it with recursion so now recursion we need to check what would be the corner cases when we have to stop these things so very first thing that we will check is whether it's a single character string now why a single character string let's say it's just a so either you'll read it from left or you read it from right it would be same that means it's a palindrome now let's say if it is not a single character string then we'll come to the else loop and now in recursion what we have to do we have to run loop again and again a function again and again so what we will do we'll begin with one character from the left and one from the right and compare them so let's say first we'll begin with the extreme ones that is the first and the last elements then again the second now if they match then we'll come to the next if they don't then break it and return no once they match we'll come to the second and second last and so on until the whole string finishes so this part has to be done by n by 2 length because half is covered in the first half and second half that is why so your loops would be run uh, would run n by 2 times the recursion would run n by 2 times okay coming to the next question that is we have to check whether a number is pal uh, magic number or not so magic number is basically a number in which you are doing a sum of the digits until the sum comes to be a single digit and that single digit should be one so let's say uh, you have a number 100 this is just a basic so when you uh, add it 1 plus 0 plus 0 it's 1 okay that's a magic number now let's say you have a number as 1090 so very first thing is you'll add the digits now 1 plus 0 plus 9 plus 0 you get 10 it's not a single digit so you'll again do the sum of this 10 and then you get 1 plus 0 that is 1 okay it's 1 that means the number is magic let's say it was 2090 then sum won't be 1 it would be 2 that means we got a single digit sum but it isn't 1 so it is not a magic number so the very first condition we'll check here is that the number should be greater than 0 why because while we are adding the digits we know we divide it why how do we find the sum of uh, digits it's just a basic thing we'll check while number is greater than 0 we'll find a digit by a number mod 10 and we'll do number divide by 10 this is the way we use so that is why we place a corner case as num greater than 0 but here we will have one more thing that is sum should be greater than 9 why because if in case you're directly getting the sum as a single digit number then obviously you don't have to do anything okay so let's see the next question that says is we need to check whether the repeated elements and if they are repeated elements we have to delete them and return an array that won't have any repeated elements okay so basically we are working on integer array so now as you know we have various uh, collections for this we have sets 
basically you insert in a set you would not get any repeated element so that is the first point you can do secondly you can check uh, using your counter also so counting sort uh, can be a thing that you can count and then just print it once instead of uh, printing it according to the count and then we have various we have hash maps there are various methods for this particular question and this question is basically asked many a times so it's just to check what you know so here i have used hash map so what we'll do is we have an integer array now we'll build a hash map and pick up elements those were not present before okay sorry those uh, yeah those were not present before uh, in the hash map so what we'll do we'll loop the uh, elements that is from 0 to n okay now we'll check whether that particular element is already there in the hash map we'll check with contains if yes then do nothing just continue with the next iteration and if it is not there then yes move it or put it in the hash map so this is basically that you do so coming to this question i would say this has been asked in my own interview three years back in tcs digital so please be sure this is a good question uh, thanks for watching uh, please subscribe share like and comment and in case you need any help with any code or any interviews too let me know thank you